Thanks, buddy. Hmm. Beds calling my name. Well, now that you mention it, we do have an early start tomorrow. No! Cloud! Finally! <sighs> Tifa! She. I. Tifa! She, she's. I don't. Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro, I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said... The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Bam, bam, <sighs> whoosh, whoosh, you know? I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart, stand-up guy like myself? No. Oh, come on, bro! Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. <sighs> Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Again. Got a letter of approval right here. Hmm? Huh? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. It's not for you. Yo, back it up. Ha! Yeah! Go on. Hey, ya. Hey, what are you wearing? I hear Corneo likes his girls super duper girly and dolled up. But I thought he might appreciate something a little more down to earth for a change. What? You don't like it? I... didn't say that. Then... does that mean you do like it? Uh... Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. <sighs> I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition? No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. 
By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed tonight? Huh. Hey, I see the way you're looking at her. I was looking to confirm what I already knew. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? Would you look at that? Where's she going? My whole favorite honey girl. Good to meet you. That dress is completely optional. You are like the beautiful flower. Time to go. This is it. Your destination. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inns, Andrea Rodea, and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? The audience is part of the performance. We have to help make it a great show. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. I've dreamt of this moment. The honey bee in. Hmm. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here, come on now. Hey, hold on. <laughs> Work it, honey! Delicious! Perfection! Work it, honey! Delicious! Perfection! Work it, honey! Delicious! <laughs> You've got real rhythm, mister! Move over, girls! A new dancer's come to town! Come on, come on! The show's about to start! <laughs> My, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you, now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Aw, oh, he's flushing. <laughs>
Welcome to the Honey Bee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Think you can follow my lead? Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! for this.
haben. Perfection. True beauty is an expression of the heart. A thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid, Cloud. That show today blew my mind! I could dance too. How much did you drink today? Come over here. I can't help How about you a drink? We can talk. Yeah. Oh, was it planned well, from the start? Well, that not. was a did show. Did you see their look of surprise? Please don't. One more drink. What do you say? It's uh, getting pretty late. You are like not a word. Flower. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! I would give anything to get to know her! Hey, watch the way you walk! Come on, I'm buying it. Fine, but only if we get lost. Hey, little lady, are you lost? Attack a mako reactor? Can't you pull really? Whoa! No it's still my she heart. It's the girl of my dreams. But what's it mean? Is she brushing? Mm. There you go again. Mm. Stop looking at other girls. Chocobo bean popcorn here. Shapes like everybody's favorite chocobo. Whoa. That is one hot chick. Come on. Taste the thrill. Hard pass. Huh? You're planning on fighting in that getup? <laughs> I don't know about that. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madame M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? second floor at the very end of the walk and don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong that one's madam m's girl ain't it man she's hot we've been waiting for you to show Hey, hands to yourself! That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things Go to, to your me. room and wait. Quietly. Room's at the end. Keep walking. so dizzy gas uh, uh. come on <clears throat> damn it cloud so you pretty ladies too feeling a little lightheaded but i can't have that 
Let's say we escort you to the parlor so you can make yourself more comfortable. Let's get this show on the road. Where are you taking us? Come on now. Nancy Daisy. Hey! Handle with care, asshole. The hell? You wanna throw down? The Corneo's girl. So if you leave a mark on him, you ain't getting off with a warm. I know. Managed to wrangle some real lookers this time, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, can you hear me? <clears throat> Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. <gasps> Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> <sighs> You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no, not until I've got what I came for. What? So... After we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get someone on one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates. And that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. <laughs> Now ladies, listen up! I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin! Head out the door to the left and up the stairs! Come on ladies, let's hustle! Alright guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Okay, my beautiful ladies, time to line up for the dawn. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm-mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? 
Today's? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? Ooh. Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. We. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Courtesy of the ever-generous Don Corneo himself, never forget, the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to... Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Hmm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Don't you stupid! Wait! Good job, Aerith. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts, your gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing here? Hey, ain't you do the reject? Gotcha! Punk! Yeah! Oh, come on!
<laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh? 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 <gasps> so you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Hmm. <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! The answer lies... in the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! 